you know how much of your taxpayer money goes to funding creationism in schools and here in America? That was the subject of an article uh, recently in Politico, and the amount spent is not encouraging. Taxpayers in 14 states will spend nearly $1 billion on vouchers for private schools, many of them religious schools that teach non-facts, such as uh, how they think the Earth is less than 10,000 years old, that man hung out with dinosaurs and everything, that science, biology, astronomy, cosmology are basically lies straight from the pit of hell. Now that number is actually expected to get higher. Uh, there are some uh, school voucher laws that are coming up in places like New York that may be expanded. And uh, just to let you know that the public schools are barred from teaching evolution in intelligent design, but private schools, well private schools are not. And many of these private schools take taxpayer money in the form of school vouchers and are religious in nature. Now since they are private schools, they have little oversight of their curriculum allowing for you know a lot of this stuff to be taught. Now Politico looked at some of the set of popular books that are used in some of these Christian uh, private schools and they call evolution a wicked and vain philosophy. They also teach things like uh, such as an example for vocabulary with sentences like many scientists are creationists. Hmm. And the Friedman Foundation which, by the way, they, they're in support of these school vouchers. They did some survey from those who go to these private schools. And religious education tied with better education are the most important motivation, they said, for choosing some of these private schools. It was also found that in state after state, faith-based schools account for 70% of all public subsidies. So 70% of all of these private schools getting taxpayer money are teaching religion. Anybody else have a problem with this? This is like, again, this is absolutely ludicrous. I mean, I went to a, a private boarding school here in the UK, but the private schools over here, they get some, a lot of them are registered as charities, so they avoid some taxes, but they don't get any vouchers or assistance from the government. And we have certain curriculums that all schools have to abide by in science here in the UK. You have to teach evolution. It's just part of the science curriculum. When you're doing GCSEs, uh, which is, you know, when you're around 15, 16 years old, you have to teach that. The very fact that these schools are being funded by the public to teach ignorance and just untruths is amazing to me. I mean, pe people, everyone apart from, you know, the, you know, I suppose the pe even the people who go to these schools, apart from the absolute fundamentalists, should be up in arms about, you know, ta kind of taxpayers' money going to waste. I mean, it's essentially taxpayers' money is being spent to make the tree worse off. It's making people stupider. It's incredible. To get the Commonwealth opinion out of the way entirely off the top of this uh, segment and let you guys have at it in America, uh, that's the same kind of idea of going back to even the gun debate where this is something that's a very uniquely American, the idea of like just completely ignoring um, evolution and the idea that you know God and dinosaurs and they all had like picnics and stuff. Um, so I think that the one thing I would say is we do have that problem here in Canada with the conversations being had about should we fund um, Catholic schools here. The one thing that we get into here is homophobia more than it, we do get into the ideas of of evolution. Because as Stephen said here as well, we have you have to teach like you have to teach evolution. It's just ever no one's really questioning that up here. But what they will question is a gay straight alliance things and and things like that. So I with obviously not surprisingly, against public money going into homophobia, anti-science, education, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, this is, a, uh, I think this is this is an excellent example of hypocrisy. Uh, you know, as me being the re progressive progressive, I'm going to come in and show why this is hypocrisy on both sides and let you guys all get mad at me and nobody like me. But um, uh, one, uh, like, this hypocrisy from, from creationists, because they're not teaching the controversy. Like they're going to sit there and argue that we should teach the controversy in public schools, then not hold themselves to that same standard. They're only teaching the one they like, uh, you know, and they're they're presenting evolution as some whack job theory. Like if you're going to argue that the controversy should be taught or uh, taught, wow, should be taught, then teach the controversy yourself at least, right? Like at least meet us the same place you're asking us to capitulate to you. Um, but then also like. Uh, one of the things that that right wing guy, that pro life guy, is, and you know, full disclosure, as liberal as I am, I am pretty pro life. Um, w they get upset about you know federal planning for or federal funding for like Planned Parenthood, 
And the argument is, no, no, no federal dollars go towards abortions. They go to promote or to, to support all the other things Planned Parenthood does. Then I, I think if we're going to make that argument, you have to make the same argument for the schools. As long as no federal money is going to evolution, it's stupid and it's wrong, but it's the same thing. Um, no, it's not because one is a fact. <laughs> oh, let's back that up. No way is that the same thing. Yeah, that's crazy. But look, one 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 caveat I kind of want to add to that, um, what you were saying a little bit, Jordan, is that look about teaching the controversy. There are some Catholic schools um, that actually don't like sort of do that because they have some really great science programs, and they say that look, you know, it's not really a controversy. Evolution is sort of guided, right? So it's more of like an intelligent design sort of thing. But they teach the core fundamentals of science as fact, and so like. You got to be fair when you when you come across these Catholic schools that are actually teaching science and saying, "Look, these, this is true, whether or not you know we believe that there's a God behind it." But nonetheless, this stuff is true. But a majority of these private schools that are getting this this public funding are not teaching the science. They're not teaching a core of science. They're teaching crap. Yeah, and that's I mean, the problem. Um, you... go ahead, Sean. I was going to say, uh, I used to be more against this than I am now, and now I'm like, first of all, I don't like little kids, so I don't really care about them, but secondly and more importantly, what a voucher basically is, is a Pell Grant for K-12 through education, and, if, and I, I, if somebody wanted to go to a religious school with a Pell Grant and learn stuff that I didn't really like, should we, like, not allow them to do that when they're, like, college age? So, to me, it's not it's not a big deal because parents... Basically, what you're doing is you're giving parents a check to tell to go to whatever school that they want to, and if the parent is choosing a shitty school for their shitty kid, then that's their problem. It's not really my problem. So, I'm, like, I've, I've moved on to this issue to not caring. It, it's, it's, a, it's society's problem because you're creating stupid people. But yeah, but, uh, Jordan... But yeah, and, and we, it, it's it's not the same as getting a Pell Grant to go to college and learn something Sean doesn't like, because one, when you when you're collegiate age, you're at least closer to adulthood. I guess you could maybe argue you're not really an adult, but whatever. That's a different discussion. But like, the colleges have to get like certified and accredited and stuff like that to receive Pell Grants. And if you go to a college that teaches that evolution isn't real, it's not going to be an accredited college, and I doubt you're going to get a Pell Grant. University of Phoenix is a non-accredited university. You could still get a Pell Grant from there. Like, but it doesn't that just have to do with accreditation being different for for-profit schools, which is also a problem. Again, we're getting off topic. But my point is, like, these are like one, these are kids who don't know better. Two, these are like it's. You're given. They're not teaching something you don't like. Like maybe you don't like people teaching kids that God exists. That's going to happen in a religious yeah. school. That's a different thing than teaching kids that something that like teaching kids something that may be true that you don't agree with is different than teaching kids something that is true is not true. Like yeah, I mean imagine. I mean we have a number of um, in England we have a number of Islamic schools um, around the country. And imagine if this is in you know in America if. It was, you know, these vouchers. Um, parents could send their kids to these Islamic schools. They were teaching, oh yeah, Jesus, that's all absolute nonsense. Kind of Muhammad is the one true God, and teaching stuff that they didn't believe was true. People would be up in arms in America, you know. A, here's what, a, here's what a, would happen: Obama giving money to Muslim schools. It'd be a huge story, you know. They're teaching ignorance. They're teaching wrong science. Well, this is exactly the same thing. And the very fact that we're having this. Um, Debate about whether schools should be allowed to teach creation or not. It's just, it's insane to me how well, we're still having this debate in the 20th century. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't think any of us is saying that public schools should teach creationism or that we're, but I don't think any of us is saying that private, non-government funded in any way schools can't teach creationism. Like I think they could do whatever they want if they're a private entity. But right, my right, thing right. is, is you're not really funding the 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 school directly. You're giving the parents the money. And then they choose where to send their kids. So okay, then the make an accreditation process. And if these schools are teaching kids bogus science, then you can't get a voucher. But most charters have an accreditation process already. Like a charter school is basically a public school with well, private. It's, it's clearly not a strong enough accreditation system, and it needs to well, be. Fixed. I well, mean, there's limited oversight, and that's that's one of the problems. Is that since they're a private en entity, they you know, 
there's there's just not enough oversight on, on what they're teaching, so they can pretty much get away with teaching anything. I I hate That's, to um, I hate to kind of go down this route, but it it is kind of what I believe. So so I'll go there. It's you know you're saying these private institutes, you're not receiving any funding from the government, but you know parents have these grants and they're allowed, they have the option or the choice to send their schools to these places. Teaching this wrong science, these just non-facts, absolute gobbledygook, in, to children, to impressionable children who are you know, going to be the leaders of our kind of future generations, it's almost tantamount to child abuse. Well, that's not, really that's, not, that's not true. Children won't be the leaders of our future because by the time the future comes, they won't be children. Well, okay. Fine, pick me off my rhetoric. But I mean, the point still remains is that you shouldn't be. I don't care if you're a private institution or and you receive no help from the government. You're still not allowed to harm the well-being of children. And in my mind, teaching just absolute nonsense. And you know, it's just I find it morally reprehensible, you know, to teach this sort of creationism stuff. And I I just don't see why there should be any option at all for parents to be able to send. Um, their kids to schools where they will they're basically made stupider yeah I agree with you that you sh that parents shouldn't do this but my thing is I, I don't care 